Women's 100 fly S8. And this is set to be a battle deluxe between a few fine swimmers. Going in lane eight, already a gold medalist at these championships, Australia's 17-year-old Lakeisha Patterson, gold in the women's 400 free. Mallory Wegerman goes in lane one. Mallory Wegerman going in lane one, but uh, Chin Xiao Chin. 24-year-old goes in lane seven, so <laughs> just realized she was heading the wrong way. <laughs> A little correction in her step. Going in lane two, ranked number one in the world is Stephanie Slater. Seventeen-year-old from Australia, Madison Elliott. She became Australia's youngest ever Paralympic medalist when she won bronzes in the 100 and 400 in London. A few days later, Australia's youngest ever Paralympic champion in the pool. The relay gold. This is Lu Wei Yuan, 25-year-old from Kunming. The favorite for gold, two-time defending champion, Jessica Long, the 24-year-old. She came into the 400 free as two-time defending champion, three-time defending champion, and did not win the gold. But going alongside her in lane four, fastest in qualifying, a 110.36. Katarina Estomina, the 22-year-old, ranked second in the world and wanting to upset the apple cart, to upset the party. Jessica Long and Stephanie Slater. Well, Stephanie Slater is the world record holder, a 108.2 at her best. Jessica Long, the 24-year-old, the defending champion, going back from 2008 and 2012, goes in lane five. And Katarina Istomina capable of beating both swimmers, certainly swimmer from Kiev, currently ranked second in the world. She finished behind Slater at the World Championships last year. Not to mention Madison Elliott, a real charge. Or Lu Wei Yuan, the 25-year-old. So Wegeman, Slater, Lu, Istomina, Long, Elliott, Jin and Patterson. Long gets away very quickly, going in lane six alongside her. Good start for Madison Elliott, but Long gets into a stroke very quickly while Istomina is looking to make a move. But going in lane two, Stephanie Slater has left nothing. Set to compete for Great Britain at the London Olympic Games before losing feeling in her left arm. Now swimming for the Paralympic team representing Great Britain and looking to become a Paralympic champion. But it's Jessica Long she's going to need to beat, or indeed, Istomina. Who touches first? It is Istomina, just ahead of Slater, ahead of Long at the 50-meter mark. Well, it's so close, but coming very strongly out of the turn, Istomina now starting to open up the lead. Still on her right side, Jessica Long, but it looks as though Istomina pulling away ever so slightly. Stephanie Slater still going well in lane two for Great Britain. It's between Slater and Istomina. Long just out of touch. Well, Long is struggling here, and Istomina really is going to upset the party. The Ukrainian swimmer who trains with her fellow Paralympic swimming partner. Istomina claims a Paralympic record in winning the gold medal ahead of Stephanie Slater and Jessica Long of the United States. Touches in bronze. Well, this is it. It's the emotion. She's overcome by emotion now, is Istomina. She's been outtouched by Long and Slater over the last few years. So often the bridesmaid, she gets to celebrate as the gold medalist. Stephanie Slater does not find 
the goal she so desperately desired but long with words of congratulations after winning the bronze an embrace and warm words well her partner Yaroslav Denisenko is also a para swimmer Into well, that was an upset Jessica Long held that Paralympic record until just a couple of minutes ago and it was so close at that first turn between Slater, Itzamina and Long and then coming out of the wall Itzamina started to power away and she just didn't look back winning that convincingly so close winning silver and the bronze between Slater and Long that age-old rivalry between Great Britain and USA athletes in this event just overcome with emotion though the new Paralympic champion Catalina Itzamina this victory really meaning so much the Paralympic record to go with it oh well, there was only going to be one swimmer who was capable of upsetting Slater and Long in this race and it was to be Itzamina who claimed the gold denying Slater and Long Long two-time defending champion had to settle for bronze and Slater was set to compete in the Olympic team four years ago claims the silver